while ago too. Oh, this new iPhone. Okay, so first things first, for this entire, well, maybe not the entire video, but for this clip right here, I am using Vishal's new phone. Which one is this? The iPhone 11 Pro Max. Boom, there you go. And it's got like the three cameras in the back and everything and the quality. It's A+. Plus. I don't even know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring like a camera to Italy. I'm just gonna use this to vlog. I have like a stabilizer thing. It's fabulous. It, I don't think you need to. Yeah, it's like so good. Anyway guys, this video is not an iPhone review. It is lipsticks of the week video. Wow, I can, like cannot even speak. I'm so excited. But I am gonna be sharing seven lipsticks that I'm gonna be wearing all week this week. And we are gonna be starting off with the first pick, which is this gorgeous lip combo right here. So the House Lab lip pencils are amazing and this is the shade Rule, yeah, Rule, which is a really nice neutral shade for my skin and it's one of those lip liners that I know I'm gonna be wearing all the time and it's gonna go with so much. So I really love this lip pencil. And then I also have the Giorgio Armani lipstick in the shade 522, which is another really nice neutral lipstick. Again, this lip combo you can wear to any occasion. Also, I will just say the Armani the liquid lipsticks are so comfortable on the lips. They've got this like moussey texture. I love it. Turn this off. We're actually on our way to our friend's wedding right now. So maybe I'll go ahead and insert some clips right here from today. And then I'll come back tomorrow for day two, which I also have in my bag. And I'm just going to give you guys a little sneak peek. Where did it go? Oh, I thought I had it. Dang it. I thought I had it. I thought I just saw it. Oh, I do have it. Here's a little sneak peek, but we'll talk about it tomorrow. All right, see you guys soon. So I'm just getting ready for a meeting and I cannot begin to describe my anxiety, how bad it is right now. Um, I'm just like so nervous, more than anxious. I guess I'm anxious and nervous because I'm headed to a really big meeting shortly and uh, doing these like business meetings, you guys, I have zero background in business and talking to people that know so much more than I do about every aspect of running a business is extremely nerve-wracking but I'm doing it and I'm like pushing through that fear and just going for it um but anyway I'm like totally like why am I talking about this the reason why I actually came on is because I wanted to distract myself from not thinking about this meeting and actually just share lipstick Number two, day two, and it's this one from YSL. You guys are honestly like the best distraction for me. Um, but this is a brand new one. I'm pretty sure it's limited edition. And this shade specifically is gorgeous. In the shade 125, I don't think that there's a name for it, but it just says Rouge Per Couture, and there's no name for it. So it's just shade 125. I'll be sure to link it below. Okay, here it is. It is so pretty pigmented, very comfortable. It's not like long lasting because it is a traditional lipstick, but it's so luxurious and I love the shade because it's a neutral shade that you can wear every single day, but it still has like a little bit of color because it's definitely more on the coral side. So here it is on my skin tone. I love it. Love the formula. The packaging is also gorgeous. And if you're looking for a luxurious lipstick that you can wear every single day, this is a really good one from YSL. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and prep for this meeting. Wish me luck, fam. Your girl is doing it. She's, she's making things happen. It's just really scary. Being an entrepreneur, I can talk about this for hours. It is such a lonely journey. It is such a scary journey. It's just like highlighted to be so cool and trendy on social media, but it's anything but that, you know? Um, but I feel fortunate enough to be in the company of really incredible people that are way smarter than me to hopefully bring my vision to life. Not hopefully, we are gonna bring it to life. More to come on that in the next few months. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys soon. Wish me luck in the comment section below, please. All right, so I am currently at a lunch with Allure. I'll show you guys where I am because it is so pretty. But before I do that, I do wanna show you guys lip for today. And it is, again, a lip combo. I have another neutral lip liner to share with you. This is from Jouer. And this is in the shade Sable. I've definitely talked about this before. But again, a really nice, creamy formula. And again, one of those lip liners that you can wear with so many neutral lipsticks. And I like that this is a retractable pencil so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. So love that. Really good nude lip liner option for you. And then also to fill in my lips, this lipstick I've talked about so many times. 
and you have to try it out if you're close to my skin tone or even if you're not close to my skin tone i feel like this is such a good universal shade from maybelline and this is their super stay in the shade enjoy the view i knew it was like something view look how pretty this is i'm obsessed with the shade and um now with that being said let me show you the view because it is so pretty Sorry if my camera is like shaking. I'm literally using my phone to vlog. Okay, I feel like I have so much to say today and I'm kind of in a chatty mood. I should have done a chatty get ready with me, but that's okay because I'm also filming my Amazon video, which is probably going to go live way before this. If it does, I'll link it below. But anyway, it is so cold out. Like what? I think it's like 20 something degrees today. I was not ready for that. I didn't check the weather before I took Kobe out for a walk and I was freezing i think it's also supposed to snow today which if i'm being honest i'm kind of a little bit excited about a little bit because like the snow is so pretty initially and then it just turns into a sludge and a mess but anyway it doesn't matter um actually i also have one more thing to say and i want to point this out because i just think it's so funny but do you guys see these like little baby bits of hair right here so you know that I got laser hair mover done on my forehead and I'm really happy with the results except that it's going to take a minute for my forehead to like my hair basically like this to grow in and like blend in with my new forehead. You guys remember I had a two head before and now I have a three head. I'm like so happy with the results but it's just going to take a minute for it to all like look natural and blend it in. You know what I mean? So to me this just looks so funny um, but anyway I try to like push it back but it is what it is. Let's talk about today's lip that I love. I love all the lipsticks I'm sharing in this video. So I'm going to stop saying that. But this is a really good one. And I have to tell you, all of the NARS new lipstick launches are incredible. I have honestly about 12 shades that I love. I'm going to link five other ones. I think this might have been in that one. But if it's not, I'll link it below in like an Instagram video I did. But I really also wanted to mention this one because it is just such a beautiful and wearable berry shade. Um, and I know I get a lot of questions from you guys asking about more like bold lipsticks but that are still wearable. And I definitely think that this is it, especially for the fall winter time. It is just like such a beautiful shade. For some reason in the tube, it looks a little bit darker. But you can see it on my lip. And let me just kind of like hold the camera up like this. There you go, you can really see the shade right here. It's such a beautiful and wearable berry shade that I definitely think is gonna work on a lot, a lot of different skin tones and I especially love it on mine um, for the fall winter season. So I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's lip that I love okay, so, so much. So here is the next lipstick and let me show you the outer packaging first because it's so stunning, right? But wait till you see the actual packaging of the, like the bullet. And you know what, you probably can't even see it at this point because I've used it so much that the shape, the initial shape, which was this like fun, funky design went away. And I have to tell you, a lot of times when brands do that, it doesn't work. It's like hard to use, but this is so practical. And I love this lip, it's so good. I've been wearing this so much recently and I just love Lancome's lipsticks because first of all, they're so pigmented. They're creamy, they're high quality, they last a long time, even though this is a traditional lipstick, but there's something in them that just makes them long lasting, but the color is just everything. So it's hard for me to describe the shade. I would describe it as like a strawberry, dark coral shade that is extremely wearable, even though this is a colorful shade. So you guys saw the beginning of this lipstick. I shared like very neutral, simple lipsticks that are so beautiful against my skin tone. And then as the video went on, I wanted to share more color with you guys. And this is definitely a color that you can still feel like you're wearing like color on your lips, but is extremely wearable. And I know that's what you guys look for. So wanted to recommend this one. Okay, so I'm back with day six and this is today's lip. But this is a liquid lipstick and you guys know how I feel about liquid lipsticks. I'm not a huge fan, except the formula of this lipstick is everything. So this is from a brand called Lipstick Queen and this is in the shade Pink Parfait, which is such a beautiful, like light to medium pink that is so complimentary for my skin. Again, I always struggle to find good pink lipstick. So when I find a good one, I'm always like, oh my gosh, I have to share with you guys because this is such a good wearable shade that is still gonna give you some color, but it's not too bright, too intense, and definitely a shade that you can wear all year long. So I do wanna show you guys the formula and it's kinda hard to do this with one hand, 
but hopefully you guys can see it versus like trying it out for yourself. Um, but it is like a moussey texture. And what that means is that it is just so comfortable on the lips. It doesn't honestly feel like a traditional liquid lipstick. It just feels like a regular lipstick. So really recommend this one. And again, if you're looking for that perfect like baby doll, but wearable pink shade, Pink Parfait from Lipstick Queen is the one that I think you guys are going to definitely love. So I wanted to share today's lip. Also this hair clip. How gorgeous is this? I'm going to link it below and somewhere on the screen. But like, how cool is this? And it also keeps my hair away from my face. So definitely get used to seeing me in hairpins. I was never all about them, but right now I'm so into it. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day seven. And I'm also going to be posting this video tomorrow. And I think I might... You know what? I'm, going, I'm in between like two shades for tomorrow. Whether I want to do like a neutral lip again or a more bold lip, we'll find out tomorrow. Okay, see you guys then. So day seven, this is the lip. I love this lip. Again, this is a liquid lipstick and I'm telling you, when it comes to liquid lipsticks, I've figured it out. I really just love the very moussey textured lipsticks or liquid lipsticks that are just very thin so that they don't feel like drying on the lips. And this most definitely doesn't feel drying. Anyway, this is from Dior. This is one of their newest shades. And this is their liquid lip in 707. Such a unique, like, orangey... I don't even know how to describe it. It's like an orangey red shade, but definitely more on the orange side. It's a beautiful warm tone that is extremely complimentary against my skin tone. And if you want to wear like a red lip, for example, this red right here, which by the way is also beautiful. Um, this is NARS Inappropriate Red. Such a good red. But if you feel like this is just too intense for you, wearing a shade like this that's a little bit more muted, that's a little bit more warm, makes it a little bit more wearable. So I'm just going to put this um, Dior lipstick next to the NARS one. And you can see it just instantly looks like a little bit more approachable, if that makes sense. So wanted to give a huge shout out to the shade. I think it's beautiful and a very unique one. So definitely love this. But anyway, with that completes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my seven day lipstick, whatever I'm titling this. If you did, thumbs up this video. Let me know in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to do one of these again in the near future. Before you head out, I would love it so much if you subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.